Okay, everybody, welcome to Fence Hall again. We're out and about, uh, mid November, 11 degrees, quite a nice day, but overcast. Gonna have a ride down to the coast and have a little paddle in the sea. A paddle? How have you brought the truck, David? <laughs> well, you're not manly, you're not hard enough, man. Yeah. Need to harden up a little bit. And we're, um, hardcore riders today. Well, at least uh, we've chickened out of riding Harleys, electric bikes, naked muscle bikes, BMW with the heated seat on. Oh, no. Have you got your heated seat on, David? No, I don't. Uh, I'm quite oh. alright, As I've told you before. I think you suffer because you don't want to be, admit that you've got a cold bum. I have told you before, every part of my body and my whole life has been cold at one point or another. But, never my backside. So, <laughs> I've just got well padded, Martin. Oh, well, maybe it's a good point. Yeah, good point. well padded, well insulated. Yeah. <laughs> it's a, they say it's a bit hushed about to get cold. Well, will not go any further than that. <laughs> I think, yeah, this time of year it's getting chilly, it's a bit of a gloomy old day and um, yeah, yeah. if you've got the right gear and the right um, bike, you, you, you're not going to get cold, are you? Oh, no, no, I'm not cold at all, no, mm. it's quite nice. I mean, the screen's keeping the wind off me mostly, I've got I lots of layers on. I think it's going to get, even though we'll have nice days, it's going to get quite a lot colder than this at some point. Well, that's now. true, yeah. Well, I remember earlier this year when I first got this bike, it was minus five. I was in Yorkshire. Oh, of course, yes, it and was. I had to it? boil the kettle to undo the panniers because they'd frozen solid. Oh, okay. There'd been some snow that had sort of melted onto the panniers and then frozen into the mechanism. I couldn't undo them. They were absolutely What's that? rock solid. Was that early spring or was that still winter? It was then? March. Oh, March, yeah. Yeah, it was yeah, quite, quite, I went up there, was quite a lot of snow one day, and um, or overnight. And then it was minus five to, for me to come back, and um, actually it said at one point on my journey, minus seven. What the hell? Well, I can't remember when we've had minus seven here, not for the last yeah. two, three years. But, <laughs> you know, I had, well, I had these heated gloves, and the, the grips blasting, the seat blasting, and lots and lots of layers, and I did feel the slightest bit cold. Oh, oh, oh. Quite something, really, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, yeah. It was the sun out? Was it sunny and clear? It was once the, uh, yeah, once the day drew on a bit more, it, the sun came out. It was lovely, yeah. But it wasn't a warm day at all. I think it got to about five degrees at most. Yeah. I guess the other thing on this bike, though, I've got these um, hand guards on the yeah. BMW. Now, the, those hand guards are for really for off-road, so you don't when you yeah. hit a branch or something, it doesn't hit your your um, your fingers, or indeed, heat a branch doesn't hit the brake pedal, the brake pedal, the brake lever, can cause you a problem. But they also keep some of the wind off, which is quite yeah. nice. Are they the standard ones, or are they the extra large ones to keep the wind off? No, these off? are standard. Oh, right, I yeah. think you can extend them to get yeah. a bit more wind protection. Yeah, you can get, I think you could... Yeah. Is it, is it uh, Nicky Normans or somebody do that? They do extenders, don't they? Yes. They must, um, if you can keep the wind blast off, Mark, it? I, I think it must be a hell of a long way to keep your hands warmer. Yeah, keeping the wind off makes a diff yeah. big difference. I, they certainly make a difference. To I, I notice it when I'm on the the other bikes. Oh yes, I really yeah. feel the difference. Yeah, so they, they yeah. really do. They really do help a lot. Well, all your other bikes, yeah. None yeah. of them have got any protection. You're fairly well exposed, aren't you? You've got a little screen on the electric, haven't you? Yeah, that keeps it off your off your chest, but your hands are still out there. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. The Harley, yep, yeah, it's got heated grips, but your fingertips without these heated gloves can still get cold. Yes, that's right, yeah. Well, I think I'm probably, you know, I'm wimpier than most motorcyclists, David. With all the and of, and of course, with a Harley Davidson, you cannot put uh, hand guards on it, can you? Well, it would look a bit funny with. It would. You can't get them driving, not so, can't you? They go. 
over your hand and around the grip. Oh, and they yes. Work, I bet yeah. they're warm, actually. Couriers use those, don't they? Yeah, they do, yes. And they stay on the bike, don't they? You slip your hand into them, they need a glove and I don't know whether they... Uh, yeah, you wouldn't wear gloves inside them, Martin, would you? Oh, you would still would have you? your gloves on, yeah, yeah, yeah. Otherwise, if you fell off, you'd be... In yeah, you'd have some protection. Yeah. So, today, David came over to Fentor headquarters and uh, he despairingly looked into the garage to see... Well, what did you see, David? Well, I just saw a bloody mess, to be honest with you. <laughs> yes. um, <laughs> so, uh, for, for somebody who's had his lady friend over for the last two weekends, supposedly cleaning it out, um, I would have dreaded to see it, Martin, actually a couple of weeks ago, because how on earth do you get all those bikes in there? And I the don't car. know. And the car. Yeah, um, well, you're not, are you going to try, you're still going to try and get a, a car in there, yeah? Yeah, car's going to go back in. Right. And all the bikes. And, oh. David. Yes. Another bike. And another bike going in there. That'll be yeah. one car and five bikes will have to fit in that garage. You're never going to get time to ride them all, Martin. Um, we're talking, we're talking motorbike as opposed to electric cycle, aren't we? Yes. Aren't we? Yes. Yeah, all right. So you, uh, where are you going to put another motorbike is beyond me at the moment. But I stand to be corrected, but we'll see. It will fit. Especially if you're going to get a car in there as well. Bloody hell. Yeah, it's only a little car. <laughs> it's, it's like anything. It's that sort of 25 years of... I oh, will just put that to one side. That goes in. Should we tell Fentor viewers what bike I've ordered? Uh, I, I should. Think... Should I it? think some um, not really. No, I think, no, I think we'll, some. we'll see what people think. Actually, so the thing is, David, should I be trading in one of the other bikes for this new one? Should you be? Um, yeah, it's five bikes too many. Well, I would say it is, but there's a lot of people who would disagree and they say it's not. If you can avoid them, they have them. But, um, I've got to uh, ride, yeah, make sure I ride them all. They all get a reasonable amount of use, apart from the Suzuki, which uh, I need yeah. to spend more time on. Yeah, but um, your Suzuki has got a lot of, um, what's the word, Mark, I mean, you've had it a long time. Yes, it? nearly it? 20 years. Yeah, it's... All, yeah. yeah, 20 years in March. It year. holds a lot of memories for you, it doesn't does. it? It yeah. does, yeah. But, so, um, yeah. yeah, so that's that, the only, I mean, you would say, yes, logically, the Suzuki would go, but because you've had it for so long, and it's, um, yeah, it's a lovely, uh, lovely bike, and, yeah. yeah, it doesn't eat anything, does it, you know, it doesn't, <laughs> yeah. I don't mean, you think, no, no, actually, it's worth more than what I paid for it, so. Well, that's, that's something, isn't it, yeah. So, uh, anyway, so, oh, yeah. so, dear Fentor listeners, what do you think? I've ordered, considering I'm keeping all the others. There we go. Yeah, there we go. I wonder yeah. if anyone will actually comment below. Who knows, David? Yeah. We'll see. Yeah, we're so, giving no clues away. No, no clues away. It's got two wheels and an engine. Um, yeah. It goes along. Well, that, that, that's, that is a clue, because that's not another electric then, Martin, is it? All oh, right, it's not an electric. Okay, it's not oh, an electric. Right. Okay, that's it. It's got a a uh, internal combustion engine. There we go. There we go. So, guess away, guys, that it will be arriving on, in the Fentor garage. Hopefully, March the first or thereabouts in 2022. Oh, brand spanking new. Brand spanking new, absolutely. I'll tell you what though, David, what's crazy is there second-hand bikes similar to this, uh, the new one I've ordered, that are selling for more than the new price. Oh, what the good. hell's going on there? I really don't know. Right, yeah, one with a, you know, just running sort of mileage, I saw online a thousand pounds more than the brand new on-the-road price. Have I never? Thousand pounds? That's weird, isn't it? You know? That is weird, but it is. It's just yeah. how it is. 
people want are desperate for a bike. Yeah. You know? I'm going to wait until March the first. I'm going to pay a thousand pounds to have one now. No, that's right. But the right. problem is, I haven't got anywhere to put it, David. No, I know that. We keep trying to go clean that damn garage out. But yeah, I've got the garage that's to clean. Gonna, the looks of that garage, and with the, knowing the way you work, it's going to take you till March to get it clean. Well, that is true. And that, yeah, so. That that will be a very very good incentive for you to get that garage clean, wouldn't it? Yeah, it's going to be nice. That garage will have yeah. just internal combustion engine vehicles and one mo electric motorbike. Well, a lot of the Do stuff I'm taking to the dump, so it's not a problem. I just need. I got rid of four Land Rover fools a couple of weeks ago, David. Four Land Rover Fools. Jesus Christ, Martin, and see that now. It, it, uh, I, you wouldn't believe how much I've got rid of. <laughs> David thinks I'm crazy. Yeah, I think you're crazy. But Another it, way to um, there you go. There's, no, there's, nothing, there's no harm in being a little bit crazy, is it, Martin? Not really. Do you know what I mean? No, you could be in the coffin next year, so, well, it would be a bit... Well, actually, I would want the bike sooner than <laughs> you know. <laughs> You don't know when you're going to be in the coffin, do you? So you've got to do these things while you can. Anyway. Yes, I think, I think it's, uh, oh, it's, not, it's not crazy if you... It's, it's not crazy if that's what you want, Parsi. No. Exactly. So what is it going to be? If you haven't commented below, get commenting below. It's funny, isn't it? I've asked people to comment below before in the video. No one does. So <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> Oh, how many people watched it? Oh, 1,000 people, and uh, no comments of yeah, any of the questions yeah. you may have asked, so I sort of gave in on that, but um, well, we'll see, we'll see. Actually, another thing, uh, a couple of other things for Fentor viewers, David, I was thinking about, was we ought to organise the winter ride, probably from uh, near where we, David and I live, in Ely, and uh, maybe like this today, up to the coast of some chips, Yep. So uh, I think maybe we might do that one, maybe one Sunday or one Saturday. Yeah, that's yeah. Yeah. Maybe a Saturday is quite good. Well, David and I have stopped here, Bircham Stores in Delhi. They do the most delicious food. And, uh, well, we're not doing chips today. So, um, actually, we're heading for chips, really, at Hunstanton, but we seem to have got distracted. So what have we got, David? Pasty? Well, actually, my pasty feels quite a little bit warm. Does she? Have yeah, you, my, my, yeah, mine feels a bit warm as well. She, she's not allowed to heat them up, but it does. I they've don't just think they've been, been made that long. They've just no. been cooked. No. And just look at these beautiful yeah, no chips machines. Today to review. No chips to review. Just nice BMWs and a pasty. Oh, yeah, it's slightly warm, Martin. It's oh, right. fine. Right, we're going to go and sit down. I've got a little cake as well. Are we going to sit down? Yeah, we're going to sit down. A little bit of heat coming from the pasty, do you think? A little bit of heat. Um, no, I don't mean heat. I mean there's a little bit of chilli. Oh, yes, there's still... Oh, I see. Do you, you... Yeah, there's... It's quite peppery, isn't it? It's oh, nice. It's pepper, is it? Oh, right. Yeah. Well, that is um, that is delicious. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. Mm. The guy who um, owns this um, little stores and cafe is a bit of a... Um, connoisseur of food, isn't he? Well, but, um, he does seem to get it right. He yep. does get it right, if yeah. That's what delicious. a connoisseur is. Right, sorry to make you hungry on Fentor viewers, but this <laughs> is delicious. We'll put up on the map, or map up, I should say. Put a map up so you can see where we are. Aha, uh -huh, yes. That was good. Now David's just disposing of the cups and uh, then we're heading to not so sunny honey <laughs> before heading home later oh, but uh, heated grips heated seat oh lovely david will refuse to turn his on until his hands are frozen solid right let's go. so that that was a very very nice pasty david very very nice pasty. Yeah. and we're now heading the back way into sunny honey hunstanton and it could actually be sunny when we get here, Martin. Yeah, look at that sky. Yeah. It's beautiful, isn't it? Yeah. I don't know if the GoPro is able to pick it up, but the colours... Colours are absolutely 
looks like a painting today, that sky. Just coming into Sunny Honey. And uh, the sky to the right and across the wash is quite dramatic. The sky ahead, moody and dull. It's been a dull old ride most of the way here. Worth coming though. David and I have lost communication for some technological reason. A bit weird. Beautiful sunny honey, look at this. Look at that view, David. Oh, the, the, that one's open, look. It's lovely, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, the hot dog and donut place. That's not hot dog, that's... Uh, mm. What is it, donut. burgers and, and what have you. It's actually rather nice here today, isn't it? Pardon? I said it's rather nice here, David. Absolutely degrees, lovely. But, uh, 10 degrees. Yep. And, Not uh, bad. Not bad. Quite a break in the clouds. Yeah. Just a bit. I wonder, Martin, do you fancy a ringed donut? A ringed donut? Yeah, a, a nice fresh ringed donut. Yes. <laughs> Can we be tempted, I wonder? Where are they? Just there. They there's a queue, David. Donuts. Yeah, I know there's a queue. Yeah. Perhaps not, but. <laughs> no, I think I, I, I think I'm quite full you're, after you're me uh, it, yeah. giant pasty. You can't be tempted then. That's, uh, uh, that's healthier. That's it's quite busy at Sunny Honey on a less than sunny day. Certainly clear skies out on the North Sea. So because I'm very pro bollocks. It's like my Fuck, arse wank. <laughs> <laughs> Rubbish, start again. Because I'm so well prepared for making videos on Fentor, I didn't bring my booster battery to boost up the helmet camera that's now dead. Very clever. And I can't be bothered to swap batteries between this GoPro and the other one. So I'm not gonna film any more from the bike, but it's too nice here. And it's gloomy where we're going back in the fence. So never mind. Anyway, so, uh, David and I are going to make our way back and um, we'll see you next time on Fentor. Bloody seagulls. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Bye bye. What's he doing? Weird. I'm resting with the